Hello, PC Space Goon here with another Footnotes video. This time, our subject is going to be flanking attacks and rear attacks, how they happen, and what stats are involved when they happen. Well, let's get right into it. So other than the obvious feeling we get that having someone run a lance into our unit's spinal column is bad, what kind of debuffs are our poor fellows actually receiving? To answer that, we need to split things up into a couple sections. First, talking about the unit as a whole, and then later getting into what is happening to each individual entity within the unit. Depending on if a defending unit is getting attacked in the flank, the rear, or both, they are going to receive leadership debuffs. Having a unit only getting attacked in the flank will subject it to a negative 6 leadership debuff. If a unit is only getting attacked from the rear, it will receive a negative 14 leadership debuff. If it is getting attacked from both the flank and the rear at the same time, these debuffs will stack, meaning the unit is taking a negative 20 to its leadership overall. Flanking a unit from both sides does not add a second flanking debuff. Also, even if every entity in the defending unit manages to turn and face the attacking unit, the defenders will continue to receive the leadership debuff until they are able to disengage entirely and turn to face the enemy unit. Now we're going to have to break things down even further. Each individual entity in a unit is affected by a separate melee defense debuff depending on which way each defending entity is facing in relation to each attacking entity. If, at any point, the defending entity turns to face its attacker, the melee defense debuff will be removed. As you can see in the case of this Spearman unit, after a few moments, entities within the unit will start to turn to face their attackers, meaning that as this happens, each defending entity is no longer losing melee defense because they can now see where the attacks are coming from. If an entity is attacking another entity in the flank, the defending entity will have its melee defense reduced by 40%. If the attacking entity is to the rear of the defending entity, the defending entity will have its melee defense reduced by 70%. Single entity units are subject to all of the debuffs previously stated, meaning if a single entity jumps into the middle of a group of infantry, they will receive both the attacked in the flank and the attacked in the rear leadership debuffs on top of the melee defense reductions, depending on the relation of each attacking entity to the single entity's flank or rear. Alright, here we go. Math time. This should be quick and easy. If a defending entity is getting flanked and has a melee defense of 100, the reductions will look like this. First you take the 100 melee defense and multiply it by 0.4, giving us 40. This is the amount that the melee defense of the defending entity is being reduced. So we need to subtract that 40 from the base 100, meaning 100 minus 40 equals 60. This will be the defending entity's new melee defense, provided it continues to get attacked in the flank. Let's look at another situation. Same base melee defense, but this time, the entities are being attacked from the rear. So, we have 100 melee defense multiplied by 0.7. This will equal 70. We will then subtract the 70 from the base 100, giving us 30 melee defense. Not a fun situation to be in. This is why getting charged in the flanks or the rear is so effective, because all of the entities in the unit doing the charging are getting a melee attack bonus equal to their charge bonus on top of the defending entities losing a large amount of their melee defense at the same time. Things get particularly devastating in the case of collision attacks that are made by chariots or certain very large units. If you want to learn more about collision attacks and why they are so crazy, or how melee attack and melee defense works, go check out my in-depth video linked here, or after this video is over. And that is going to be right now, as a matter of fact. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Good luck to you out there, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Hopefully, 
not getting flanked. 